What's up y'all, it's Jimmy coming you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys hit subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting that notification button. So getting right into the video, this is going to be a review on the Nike Air Max 1 cloth that came out on March 27th of 2021. A little bit about this shoe, this is actually a re-retro, or not even a re-retro, it is a retro for the very first time of the first ever, I believe, Nike Air Max that Nike, not even Nike Air Max, I think the first collab that Nike ever did with Hong Kong based retailer. So 2006 to 2020, 21, these were grails and I'm pretty sure they are grails for a lot of people still, but essentially up until this point of these Air Maxes being retro, they were impossible to get. And I gotta tell you guys, when I saw pictures of the shoes being retro, I wasn't the biggest fan, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought the shoes were a little bit whack. I thought the color combo was kind of meh, but actually seeing them in person, seeing the material, seeing the quality, they're actually pretty fire. So getting to review, the shoes come in a black Nike box, a black Nike cardboard box. I've never seen them do this style box before, at least for an Air Max one especially, but you have the clot logo right there on this back portion. And then you have Air Max One and some calligraphy right here on this white banner on top of the box. And then you have some Chinese lettering on this portion of the box. So I know, right, when you refer to someone that is Chinese, they don't speak Chinese. They either speak Mandarin or Canto. I don't know if the same applies for the words or the lettering or the characters actually. So, you know, I'm not gonna go deep into it, but for Chinese people, whenever you see a letter, a letter actually means a lot of things, right? I don't think it's kind of like English where it's like the cat, the dog, you know, that's just a quick little example. This might be like a couple words, like it might be a whole phrase over here, but I don't know if it's like a general thing or if it's like a specific to Mandarin or Cantonese. Off of that quick little side tangent, going inside of the box, you do have another little cool little touch of detail that Nike added right here. This is like, I believe it's something to do with like, the main focal point when you're doing like Chinese massage or something along those lines. I forgot exactly what it's called. I think it's like needling, something along those lines, but these are the main parts. The first one being the sinus and ear, and then the last one, it's gonna be your anus. Like it literally says anus right there, but you know, this is just being straight up on, I guess like the different focal points that they do focus on whenever they're doing like the Chinese massage. And if it's not Chinese massage and I sound super ignorant, I'm gonna apologize to you guys probably beforehand before I get roasted in the comments comments but the tissue paper itself is also something that is a little bit unique, a little bit special. It's not just plain white tissue paper. You have the clot logo and basically a design on the tissue paper. And I almost forgot to mention the size tag of the shoe reads Nike Air Max 1 Clot. Official colors are net, deep red, orange, blaze. And suggested retail on these is 130, which I think is actually pretty cheap because you guys will see here in a bit, the quality on the shoe is actually pretty legit. And here are the shoes, really clean in person. Like I said to you guys, the quality, the details on this shoe is actually pretty dope once you see it in person. Like maybe in videos, maybe in pictures, it looks a little bit out of whack. Like definitely not the most practical shoe, but when I see the shoe in hand and I like just hold it, feel it, actually be able to see the colors and everything in person, it does make me appreciate the shoe. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So starting with the outsole of the shoe, you have a translucent icy blue outsole. And essentially here you have the bottom of your foot and your foot is broken up into different areas. And if you look inside the different areas, it's numbered. So like your toes are one and then the ball of your feet is 27. So this right here, I'm 100% sure correlates to that list that is on the underside of the lid of the box. So pretty cool to see, right? If, if you ever take the chance, you know, then maybe you can actually pinpoint what goes to your sinuses, what goes to your ear, and you'll really be able to more so understand how the shoes are connected into just the culture, right? And like what the shoes are actually about. And then moving up, you have your orange midsole, which I say pairs very well with the trans translucent sole and also the tan suede. And of course, you can't forget to mention the air unit on the inside. The color of the air unit, I believe it's just red. I forgot what the exact red was called, but it is the same red that you see on the swoosh right here. And then when you move on to the uppers of the shoes, that's when things just get even crazier. Essentially, 
the major portion of the shoe is made out of that tan suede which i'll say feels pretty soft to the touch it's nothing super crazy like buttery or like super high quality but it's not too bad for 130 um you know 130 is still a lot for shoes don't get me wrong but for nike i'll say this is actually not too bad of a quality with suede and of course i can't forget to mention the clear toe box area so this is really interesting because i mean clearly it's on this shoe right here and it was also very prevalent on the air forces that came out in maybe like 05 06 something along those lines maybe it might have been 02 03 if i'm not mistaken but they had do have the air vents here so your feet don't stink up and i'll say if you are going to wear these shoes please make sure your sock game is proper because if you have some dingy old white socks in there that is not going to be the move but from the toe box moving on to the tongue you have a red leather tongue which is actually pretty nice and then your nike air is in that tan suede in the actual nike air itself is in a, like a lime green which contrasts very well i'm telling you guys like there's like hunter orange bright red lime green tan and somehow nike and clot manages to make it all work because i don't think the shoe looks absolutely too crazy like it still looks actually pretty wearable to me but the upper portion where you have your lime green like lacing system you have white leather around this i'll say this leather here feels pretty normal it's nothing too crazy about this and then on the back portion of the heel you have this thin leather around the collar which kind of has like a ostrich material to it i don't know if it's actual ostrich leather i think nike's trying to stray away from using animal products but it does have like that ostrich leather style print and on the back where you typically have your nike air you have plot logo stitched in orange on top of this red leather this red leather is a little bit different than the leather you see on the tongue it's like it's almost more of a muted dull shade of the red you see on the tongue but nonetheless i still think looks pretty dope and i'm telling you guys there's just a lot of little small details on the shoes that you know are honestly pretty dope and will probably get overlooked just because i don't think the hype on these is anything too crazy which is probably good for the people that actually did really want the shoes the laces that the shoes come pre-laced with are waxy tan laces the spare laces that they come with is waxy red laces very similar to the wax laces that came with the travis scott one lows and something really strange that nike did that i'm not too sure what the purpose was i think it is to keep the shape of the shoe especially because this back portion is just like this thin leather pretty sure nike wanted the shoe to keep its shape but what nike did was essentially they had this cardboard straw they pushed it into the tissue paper that's on the inside and they put it back to the back portion of the heel which makes me think and honestly probably confirm that it was to keep the shape of the shoe something i've never seen nike do before so it's kind of nice to see that yeah even though nike does slack on quality here and there it's nice to see that they are concerned about you know actually keeping the integrity and shape of the shoe but this is going to wrap up the review it was supposed to be a shorter one but like i said there's just so much detail on the shoe like it's hard to leave out these cool little details and not talk to you guys about them but let me know what you guys think about the shoes down below in the comments you guys think they are a cop or a drop for myself i'm not going to go ahead and see anything crazy like 14 pairs minimum but they are pretty dope you know if you guys did manage to call for retail i think if you guys did manage to call for retail they'd be you know not too bad to keep at least for the summertime i think they have a good color combination you know good breathability looks kind of dope kind of different so not too bad of a keep if you did manage to hit on retail but this is going to wrap up the review on the nike and clock collab air max one and until next time i'll catch you guys later peace Thank you.